What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is the Alcatel Joy Tab 2. It is a eight inch Android tablet. It has LTE built into it and also Wi-Fi. And it goes for $120 and it's on the Metro by T-Mobile network. So it's a prepaid tablet that you would use on their prepaid network for as little as $15 per month. Now, remember, this is a $120 tablet. So if you sign up for like a new account, you can get for it as little as like 30 bucks. I'll link it down below if you want to get it. But anyway, let's talk about the specs and what I think about this tablet. So inside the box, you get the tablet, which we'll go through this more in a second. You get a SIM card. You get a charging brick and a USB-C cable. And then you get a quick start guide. Here's the box that it comes in, Alcatel Joy Tab 2. Tells you a little bit what the about some of the specs in here. We'll go deeper into those as well. Spec-wise, you're looking at 32 gigabytes of internal storage and eight inch HD display. So it's 1280 by the 800 resolution camera. There is a five megapixel rear camera and a five megapixel front camera. You can add up to 256 gigabytes of storage with a micro SD card, mobile hotspot capable, 8.5 hours of usage time for battery. Android 10 has a two gigahertz quad core processor and the weight is 10.93 ounces. And then here is the tablet eight inches camera at the top big bezels all the way around buttons for the uh, power are right here along with the uh, uh, volume up and down on the back kind of a fingerprint magnet so i mean i've been using this for a little bit and you can see i have fingerprints everywhere it looks like i ate a greasy sub <laughs> but it is like a plastic back you get one camera on the back you get the logo for uh, alcatel right there at the bottom, uh, you have the, yeah, that's the bottom. You get the speakers. And then at the top, which is a little bit weird, you get the headphone jack and USB-C as well. And this tablet does run Android 10. So it's pretty up to date in terms of the, the version of Android that it has. It doesn't have 11, but Android 10 is pretty uh, you know, up to date. There wasn't a lot of changes design-wise with uh, Android 10 versus 11. The uh, software experience is, is pretty vanilla Android. So there's not a lot of uh, you know, junkware apps on here. They didn't, the only uh, crapware apps on here were uh, Metro Zone app, which maybe you want, and then the mobile hotspot app. Everything else is what you see here. I, the only apps I installed were Subway Surfer, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And then everything else is pretty much just vanilla Android apps, really nothing else. So that was a pleasant surprise to not see really any crapware apps on there, no junk, pretty clean, uh, you know, setup for that. I was happy to see, uh, you do get this Metro zone, uh, widget here. You can remove it though. Just press and hold, and then you can, uh, bring up to remove and it'll remove it. When you go to the left to the right, you get your uh, Google zone of information, which I absolutely love. It's gonna show you stuff that you search for, that you're interested in, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I like that. Being vanilla Android, you're gonna be able to uh, get a, a fairly you know normal interface like you would on a Pixel device. So if you go into home settings, not a lot to choose from in terms of customizations for your home screen. Uh, you can go in here and change the notification dots on and off. You can add apps to the home screen, um, display Google app. You can turn that on and off. That's, you know, this over here, if you want to turn that on or off, you can also go in here and change your wallpapers. The wallpapers aren't that bad. Actually, actually kind of dig them and kind of, kind of chill. They're not, they're not like overwhelming. Like some, some of these companies put some crazy wallpapers. These are pretty chill and uh, not too bad looking. Like I said, I like them. And then you also have your widget. So if you want to add, like you saw that little uh, uh, Metro zone app there that was sitting on the home screen, you can add things like that if you want. So that you can interact with your apps uh, just like you could on any other Android device. You swipe up to see all of your apps. You swipe up and down to go through all of your apps. I don't have a lot, so that's why it's not going really anywhere. And then within settings, you have, again, your basic Android setup, which I love. I, I'm happy that this is, is pretty, you know, plain vanilla Android. 
Let me turn that brightness up just to, oh, it's already up pretty much. Um, you know, just basic stuff. There's not a lot of customizations built into this. I mean, you can add your own launcher. You can add your own, you know, uh, uh, whatever you want in terms of a like customization, like with the launcher and the icons and things like that. But just directly on the phone, uh, the tablet itself, there's not a lot of customizations. When you go into system, you can go into gestures and you can, you know, turn, when you double press the power button, you can go into the camera. You can do stuff like that. You can change your system navigation. You can go and change that so that the gesture navigation is on. So if you want to swipe up, instead of you know pressing uh, the the button in the middle to go home, you can all do two button or you can do three button navigation. When you do three button navigation, you're unable to switch the back button to the right and the recent apps to the left. Unfortunately, I wish they allowed for that, but they don't. But other than that, again, there's not a lot of customizations built into this phone. It's very very simple, which. I think for most people is completely fine and people will probably be very happy with that. So, you know, just something to keep in mind that if you're a person that wants to take, wants, wants a lot of customization built into this thing, you're not gonna get it with this one. All right, so let's jump into watching a video so you can see what the screen looks like. I'll load up YouTube right here and uh, we'll play, uh, why don't we play, play a video that actually shows me How about this? We'll do this one. All right. So I don't have them have it muted for a second here. Let's switch up to. So as you can see, since it's only a 720p screen, I can only watch videos uh, in 720p. I'll, honestly, I'll be honest with you. I don't know. Now, a second ago when I just did this, I wasn't able to pinch in in terms of it filling up the whole screen. So. what I did is I closed the app and I'll show you what I mean by closing the app. So let me turn on do not disturb. So basically I have the YouTube app. So I have here. speakers I up it. I went to app info. all the way. Speakers don't sound amazing. I can hear it. They're not super loud either. Video looks good at 720p. I think it looks pretty good. The angles are okay. It is an IPS display. So you should see Whenever you're looking at this display, you should be able to see it at almost any angle. It does get, a, it doesn't get dim, but it's pretty reflective, the screen. But yeah, overall, you know, speakers, not amazing. Display is okay. You can see performance. It does struggle a little bit to catch up at 720p, 60 frame per second video. It does catch up eventually and it plays it fine, but it does, you can see it like kind of struggles just a little bit. Now, you're gonna be using this, I always say these, you know, for these, for these things, you're gonna watch videos, you saw a video on there. You're gonna use it for social media as well. So I'll open up uh, Twitter here so that you can see how Twitter looks on this eight inch 720p tablet. And again, it looks good. Once it gets loaded up, performance is decent, but it does take a few seconds for it to really, you know, get, you know, in there ready to rock and roll. But once you do, it's, uh, it seems to be, it seems to be fine. Opening up Facebook. Everything seems to work okay there. And then Instagram. All that again, seems to be great. No problems. With that, I'll just jump around here a little bit. Going through some of these stories. They, they seem fine. Little bit of, a um, little bit of lag. I mean, not everything is, uh, is super, super smooth on this. And I, I wouldn't expect it to be at 120 bucks. Now, one thing you can do on uh, Android is run multiple apps. So if you wanna run multiple apps, and then you can split screen and then choose the other app that you want. So for instance, we'll open up our, our web browser on here. So I've got Android Police's website. I've got my Google Play Store open up here. I'm gonna go in here and then I'm just gonna cycle through the website, turn it this way. That would probably be a better way to, to hold it.
So it does fine that way. And then websites overall, if you want to see what they look like, because I think most people will probably hold it like this. They look very nice. And then just going through the website, it does take a look at my, and my internet's pretty fast. So it does take a few, few seconds to uh, load the whole page up completely because this one has, you know, ads on it and pictures and text. So performance, you know, I'd give it a C probably. And speaking of performance, maybe you want a game. We'll play a little Subway Surfers on here to see if this loads up at a fairly decent speed and also uh, runs it, you know, well enough so that you can uh, play the game. Because, you know, this is a, game, a popular game, one of the most popular games still in the Google Play Store that people would want to play. And you know, it's going to take probably 20, 30 seconds, maybe a little bit longer to load this game. Tap to play. Here we go. I felt like there was a little bit of stutter in the, in the beginning part there, but now it seems to be smoothed out. And I seem to be playing this game like a freaking pro, like I always do, which is total joke because I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I don't play it enough to know. Oh God, obviously I didn't play that right. What do you do? Tap it? Whatever. I got past it, right? That's all that matters. Pick up some coins. Oh, missed it. Go down. Pick up some more coins. Ooh. Playing like a beast. Like a boss. I cannot be stopped. I just don't know how to skateboard when I was supposed to. Oh, I should have jumped. I could have got more coins. What's that? I feel like this game's a little bit easier on here for some reason. I feel like I haven't gotten this far ever. Oh, I almost ran into that. Is the guy even ch chasing me anymore? Probably not, huh? Whoa. Whoa. How come he doesn't get hit? Oh, there you go. Subway Surfers works fine, pretty much. Um, now, when you were listening to audio, like I said, you do have that headphone jacks so that you're able to listen to audio, you also have Bluetooth. So when you swipe down, uh, you have Bluetooth in here with you know Wi-Fi, and obviously it has LTE built in here. Uh, here's the camera. So you get I'm on video right now. So you get pano, panorama, video, auto for photos. You can put uh, filters on here with all different things. Stop motion, and then when you switch to the, whoops, the front. I'll go back into there. Switch this to the front. With the front, you get panorama, video, audio, filter, stop motion. And then when you come into settings, you can go uh, 1080p video is the highest you can do. And then also uh, stabilization for video is electronic. What is up everybody? This is a video recorded on the Alcatel Joy Tab 2. What do you think? It looks like and sounds like. Does it sound good? Let me know. Does it look good too, obviously. What's up everybody? This is the Alcatel Joy Tab 2, the rare camera this time. The first video was the front camera. This is the rare camera, 1080p. Let me know what you think it looks like and sounds like in the comments below. So that is the Alcatel Joy Tab 2. 130 bucks or if you sign up for an account and get a, a, a plan with it, it's about 30 bucks. For me, I mean, for a kid, I think it'd be good for watching videos and stuff, plug some headphones in, use Bluetooth, something like that, or somebody that just wants an inexpensive uh, internet device to carry around and uh, be able to use it. I think it's going to be fine. It's Again, it's not an overwhelmingly amazing experience in terms of the screen and the sound and the performance. It's kind of mediocre or below average, really. But at the price, what do you really expect? 
Uh, so, but it has pretty much any feature somebody would want. You can take a quick picture, a uh, quick video, you can video chat, you can watch videos, you can play games. So it does pretty much anything anybody wants to want, want to do, uh, browse the web, stuff like that. So it has all that stuff. If you want to pick it up, I'll link it down below. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you down the road. Peace.